Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video is actually one that I'm really excited for. Um, I'm going to be showing off an entire Pokemon collection uh, that I recently purchased. Um, it is going to contain a lot of old cards from like the 1999, 2000, like Wizards of the Coast era. And then there's also going to be a little bit of newer cards, you know, from like Darkness of Blaze and stuff like that. So I have a bunch of cards that I want to show off to you guys. This isn't going to be an opening or anything. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while just because these cards have literally been just sitting on my desk. And I've been wanting to throw them in my binder. And now is the time. But um, I did. So I did purchase this um, set of cards and everything from a person, you know, a local person nearby. Um, so there was no, like, you know, internet. Um, th all the talks and everything happened over the internet, but there was no, like, shipping or anything. We actually met in person, and I purchased this collection from him. If you're watching this, shout out to you, big dog. Um, really quickly, I'm currently running a 30% off sale on G Fuel with code DK. So it started yesterday on the 3rd, and it's running until the 7th, which I believe is Monday or Tuesday. I don't, I don't know. I think it's Monday. But you guys can actually get 30% off of G Fuel with code DK. The, the, the direct link that will benefit me is in the description down below. So if you guys want to support me and my channel, please, please, please purchase some G Fuel. Get yourself 30% off. And on top of that, if, you're not, if G Fuel isn't your thing if you're not a big energy drink drinker i also am partnered with sizzle popcorn you guys can get yourself some popcorn with my code dk as well i think you can literally get like two whole bags of popcorn for like seven bucks or whatever with my discount um link will also be down there as well my direct link supports me i really appreciate it guys um but yeah there you go all advertisements and everything to the side i have my trusty dusty trusty trusty dusty handy dandy gloves i'm gonna go ahead and pop these bad boys on There we go, guys, and the gloves are on. Um, so I am going to be basically showing off these cards to you guys, and then uh, I'm going to do the newer set first, all the newer set cards, and then we're going to finish it off with the older stuff. I think that's just better. And then these games, I'm literally going to be taking them out of the top loaders and throwing them into my binder. So here we go. I'm going to be showing off a section at a time. So here you go, guys. Let's do this. I am super ready. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to start off with the new stuff and... The very first card we are starting off with is a Dragonite EX card. Um, don't know what set it's from. Let's see if I can like see see if I can get this to focus. I'm not really I'm not too sure what set this Dragonite is from, but that is a sick looking Dragonite. All right, the next card we got is Mega Absol EX. Now I I just really love Absol as a Pokemon in general. And um, I just think that the uh, Mega cards with like the Japanese writing and everything like that, I just think these cards are super sick. So definitely was a good pickup on that I believed in. And here is a regular just Absol EX. So you know we got the Mega, and then we also got the uh, standard Absol EX as well. Let me go ahead and refocus that camera for you guys. But yeah, looking hella sick. Really enjoy that artwork. Now, here is another Pokemon whose artwork I really enjoy, and that is Entei GX. So, this card looks super sick. I've always really liked Entei. I don't know what it is about, like, the fire-type Pokemon, but I just really like fire-types. Like, Entei, really big fan of. Typhlosion, really big fan of. Obviously, you know, we got Charizard and everything. But yeah, um, just really big fan of Entei as well. Um, so, we have... We actually ended up getting three Butterfree V cards. Um, I actually just really like this art of Butterfree V. Um, I think it's just a gorgeous card. The colors and everything contrast really well. The green and the blue and purple and everything that's in there. I think this card just looks good and would just look good in the binder. So I went ahead and got it. Um, and then here is another Dragonite card. So we got a Dragonite EX. I really like this artwork as well. A lot of the cards may not be worth like you know, really high dollar values, but I just really like the art style and the way that the cards look. Um, first card that, that, you know, we kind of, so we jump up into like the ultra rare um, rarity here, and here's a Butterfree VMAX. Obviously, you can kind of see like the texture and everything on the card there. I think the colors on this card is ridiculous. I think Butterfree VMAX, I think his, the artwork and just this card in general is just an overlooked underrated card i just a lot of the cards that i get guys i know aren't probably like worth the most but i just get them just because i like the way they look um here's a persian gx ultra rare as well just really love the texture and look of this card 
Um, you know, not really a huge like Persian fan or Meowth or whatever. I just I just think the card looks cool and I thought the art was cool, so I got it. Um, so there's that. So that's gonna be that for that little section. We have another little section that we're gonna be gonna be showing off. All right, and the next set we are starting off with a rainbow secret rare. Um, Nag Nagandel GX. I have actually literally never heard of this Pokemon, but I saw the card. It was a secret rare, so I went ahead and copped it. Um, then we get into Salamence VMAX. I actually ended up picking up two of these cards. Salamence needs no introduction. Salamence is a sick freaking Pokemon. This is the VMAX Ultra Rare. T big fan of Salamence ever since I was a little kid. Um, dragon type Pokemon are just dope, hence why I got two Dragonites and everything as well. Really big fan of this card. Love the way that it looks, love the colors. Red is one of my favorite colors. Grab that for sure. And then we jump into the newer Darkness of Blaze stuff. So here's Eternatus V. So uh, I did end up getting two of these cards. So we ended up getting two Eternatus Vs. Eternatus is a newer Pokemon that I, you know, I just recently stepped back into the Pokemon game. And I just thought this card looked really cool. And so I decided to get two. So there's that. Houndoom V. So we ha here we have an ultra rare Houndoom V. Really interested. I just really like the way that this card looks. Like these full art cards, um, you know, these ultra rare full art cards, like the texture and everything, the design work, and then the full art on it. I just think it looks freaking insane. So that was another reason why I picked it up. And oh my god, bro, this Butterfree V. Like, I, I am not like a huge like Butterfree fan. Like I, I know all of these cards that I'm showing off kind of says otherwise. I am just a really big fan of like the artwork. Like the colors, like the the bright orange and everything on this card. I think it just I think it's just a gorgeous card and I hundred percent, you know, had to pick it up. Really really digging that. Same thing with this man. I really like this Flygon V. So here's a Flygon V card. Really digging the colors and everything on this Flygon. Um, looks hella sick. I mean, like the orange and the green and the red. Oh, dude, this card just looks great, incredible. A lot, of, a lot of the cards that I purchased here, um, you, <laughs> I just got because I really like the art style. Uh, here we have Umbreon and Darkrai. Um, another really cool like tag team card. Um, it actually, is my very first tag team card. I've actually never seen the tag team cards before. Another one that I really want is the Mewtwo and Mew tag team or i believe it's mewtwo and mew gx where mewtwo is just kind of like looking all upset that one's really cool i like that card so there's that oh and speaking of mew there's my boy so i ended up picking up a mew v card i am a big fan of mew and mewtwo um if you guys haven't seen my previous video i bought an old collector's tin that literally just had mewtwo armored like armored mewtwo in it um that was literally the whole reason why i got the tin was for the armored mewtwo but here we go Little cute Mew doing Mew things. Here is an ultra rare Entei. I believe this is from Shining Legends, I think. Um, really big fan of this card as well. Really love the way that this card looks. The Entei, just the orange and red. Dude, that huge red background, man. That thing looks incredible. Big fan of that card. Um, and then we did get another Crobat. So if you guys haven't seen my Darkness of Blaze video, um, I did pull a Crobat. And I decided to get another one, so yeah. And then there is a, another Houndoom V right there added to the collection. Really cool looking card. But okay, guys, so that is it for all of the newer stuff that we recently purchased. Now it is time to jump into the vintage 1999-2000 collector stuff. Um, I did end up getting a couple of Japanese cards as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start the video off with that. So let's go ahead and just jump into the Japanese cards. And uh, here we go, guys. So starting off, we here is a Japanese Clefairy, number 35, looking... Oh, man. I just love the way that this card looks. I love the shine of it. This card looks incredible. Um... Then we got a Japanese Vaporeon, really big fan of this card and the way that it shines. I'm just a really big fan of the Japanese cards. Um, here we have a Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Um, I think that's the full name of it. Obviously, correct me, or I'll put a, the correct name or whatever. But yeah, here we have a Lieutenant Surge, Magneton. I really love the way that this card looks. And then we did get a Japanese uh, Zapdos, really big fan of this card and the way that it looks. I think this card looks absolutely incredible. 
Um, had to refocus the camera there, but man, just the way that these cards look, absolutely incredible. And you know, the condition of them, I mean, they're not bad. They're not in bad shape, so there might be a, a few of these cards that I might take to get graded. But that is it for the Japanese cards. Now we're going to jump into a little section here. I believe uh, with all these vintage cards, I ended up getting about 22 or 23 cards, I believe. So, pretty decent amount. So we did end up getting a decent amount of Clefairies. I think I ended up getting three Clefairies? Yeah. So we got three Clefairies. And as you guys can see, um, I don't, let me see if I can get it to focus. They All of these cards that I'm going to be showing you guys are going to be 1999-2000 Wizards. So these are all going to be old cards and everything. So they're all old vintage cards. So I mainly got it for nostalgia and collection purposes. And then here we have an Electrode looking hella sick. I just really liked the way that this card looked. I mean, again, all of these cards were purchased strictly just for, you know, collection and everything. Um, there's an old school Kangaskhan. Man, I remember having this card whenever I was little. Yo, if this card, if this video is giving you guys flashbacks or nostalgia trips, uh, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, I think we're pushing, we're almost at 47,000 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe down below, get your boy there, I appreciate it. But there's a Venomoth card looking hella sick. There is a Dark Magneton. Is it Magneton or Magneton? I don't know. I'm probably triggering some people down in the comments. I'm, I apologize. But there's a Dark Magneton. And then there is a regular Magneton. I know for a fact that I had this card whenever I was younger. Really, really digging that Magneton. But there we go. There's the first little section of the vintage... Oh, my God. Of the English vintage cards. Let's go ahead and jump into the next little set here. So I am going to just grab the rest of them here. And here we go. So we're going to be starting it off with a Hitmon Chan. A uh, nice little Hitmon Chan. Obviously, you know, not worth a whole lot, but again, collector piece Hitmon Lee. So this card, um, whenever I was like looking through all of the older cards and everything, this one actually ended up being one of the better like conditions. So uh, I think this Hitmon Lee is probably going to, I'm going to take it to, uh, I have BGS here in Texas. So I'm going to take it to get graded. Um, there is a dark Gyarados. I am just a really big Gyarados fan uh, i love gyarados he's a sick pokemon i remember playing pokemon silver and getting that red gyarados where he's just sitting and chilling in the middle of the lake um dark gyarados it's the pre-release promo one so definitely had to get that love that card um there is a dark wheezing so this dark wheezing is actually another one of my really good conditioned old cards it's a first edition dark wheezing I'm 100% going to be taking this card and getting it graded. It is definitely, out of all of this, out of all the like old cards that I purchased, the vintage cards, definitely one of the better shaped ones for sure. Um, Haunter, I just, I mean, you guys know that I love ghost Pokemon, so I definitely had to get the Haunter for sure. Haunter had to be a pickup, 100%. Um, there is an old school nine tails. Now, how many of you guys in the comments down below had this nine tails? I know I had this card and like just looking at this card just brings back so much nostalgia for me. Uh, definitely had to grab it. Definitely had to pick it up. Like my heart is like fluttering, bro. I love these. I love this. Um, here we have a shadowless base set first edition Machamp. I know this card is pretty common. I think base, I think originally when they first released Machamp, it was shadowless and then they released shadow version. I don't remember, but, um, or maybe it's the other way around, but I know that this was a pretty common, like hard to get shadowless. So, but yeah, just really cool to have first edition, uh, base set shadowless Machamp. Uh, and then we have a uh, fossil Zapdos. So, uh, card is hella dope. Um, I am just, I'm just, dude. I mean, there's not really much to be said. It's a Zapdos. He's freaking sick. I think it's fossil. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, that okay. Never mind. This is not fossil. I think this is base set. Is this is a fossil Moltres? So there is Moltres right there for you guys. Um, so yeah, maybe the Zapdos was base set, and then this Moltres is uh, fossil. I think. And then we have a Venusaur, baby. There we go. It's not a first edition. It's not the base set Venusaur, although I wish it was. But there is a cool Venusaur. He's not in the best condition, but that's okay. Like I said, a lot of these cards, I'm not reselling these cards. These are going to be sleeved up, thrown in a binder, and keeping them forever. Um, and then the power card of the, of the entire thing is my Fossil 
uh, Dragonite. So this card actually ended up being in pretty good condition as well. Um, one of my more exciting cards that I picked up, I believe it's not in, yeah, I mean, it's it's in okay condition. Obviously, there's a little bit of whitening and everything towards the bottom corner there, and maybe a little bit on this one as well over here. But other than that, and up here at the top, it looks like there's a little bit of whitening just kind of all on this side. But other than that, card's in pretty good condition, um, but I'm just really excited to have this card and to own this card and throwing it in my binder. So really stoked about it. And that has been my collector um, video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys, um, you know, I hope it brought some nostalgia back from you guys. Out of all of the cards that I showed off to you, which one is your favorite? Probably from the old vintage set. I'm probably going to have to say Dragonite. I think Dragonite is probably my favorite from the old vintage set. And then from the newer set, I don't know, man. There's a lot of cards. Um, I, I ordered a bunch of cards as well. So I have a bunch of cards coming in um, from eBay and everything. I'm really interested to see, like, you know, if you guys, how would you guys react? You know, what if I opened up a P.O. box? And if you guys wanted to send me cards that I could show off on, like, a video or something, would that be a good idea? I see other YouTubers do it. So I have, I have, so what, what do you guys think? Like, I almost, I, there's some cards, like, out of, like, the newer set that I feel like, you know, like, the holiday and stuff if I were to open up like an online store I could sell you know pretty cheap or something I don't freaking know I I'm just opening cards putting them in a binder and having a lot of fun just opening up Pokemon cards I'm gonna take these gloves off by the way but there's the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to smash that like button make sure to subscribe for me as well again 30% off on G Fuel you guys can use my link in the description down below or just head to gfuel.com and use code DK same thing with Sizzle Popcorn. You guys can actually get, I think it's 10% off. Or you can get like two bags for like $7. Link will be in the description. Or you can head over to sizzlepopcorn.com and use code DK at checkout. But with all that to the side, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to be buying some more Pokemon cards soon and doing some more openings. But I'll be on the lookout for a Pokemon Go video, a Pokemon Masters EX video, because that app did just release. So I'm definitely going to be playing that. And uh, if you guys want to catch me live over on twitch.tv slash Daiko, we play Pokemon Go and Sword at the same time over there, streaming it up. So make sure you guys come hang out. But with all that to the side, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been your boy, DK. Peace out.